I'm going to share with you guys some of the digital games that I have here that I would love for you guys to check out. And first off, we got Zombies Ain't My Neighbors and Ghoul Patrol. You guys can see that right there. If I had more time, guys, I would have uh, screen captured all this. But I got to leave to work here in a little bit, so I want to get this video up by today for sure. Um, some of these games I haven't even tr I haven't played myself, so I can't really tell you what they're like. So um, what what happens is I, I see them at the right price, and I'll just buy them and check them out later. Uh, Zombies Cool, I think that's a twin stick shooter, and I love st stick twin shooters. So that's another great game to check out. It does go on sale once in a while. I believe I paid like four cents. I don't know. I, I, it was cheap, that's for sure. Postal Redux right there. Focus camera. Let's see, now we got um, Bundle Horror Volume 1. Of course, that sounds very Halloween-ish, doesn't it? I think I paid like two ninety nine for that. And, you know, those games are individually are worth like 20 bucks, I believe. At least at the time when I bought these. I don't know what they what they cost now. But we got, um, I'll show you guys. So there we go, this, there's the horror bundle there. We got Slain which is usually, I think it's like $20 by itself. Um, Uncanny Valley, which I didn't even know I had. <laughs> I was gonna buy that individually. It's a good thing I I know this now. I've been wanting to play Uncanny, Uncanny Valley. Okay, so we also got Paranormal Activity. I don't think I said that right. Uh, but I gotta be honest with you guys, I haven't played any of these games yet. So I can't say too much about them. Okay, so the next one I want to show you guys is Guns, Gore, and Cannoli. This is a, what is it called? It's a um, platformer. Yeah, it's like a horror platformer. You play as a gangster and you're shooting zombies. It's pretty, it's fun. Uh, I did beat that game and there is a second one available as well. I just don't have the second one yet, but I, I do recommend that one. It's got a nice, funny uh, storyline. And it does have like a multiplayer mode that's kind of like Smash Brothers in a way. It kind of reminds me of Smash Bros. And uh, I highly definitely definitely uh, recommend you guys check that one out. That's a game. I do want to make a video on that game on itself later on. Um, iZombie. If I get to it right here. Yeah, there's iZombies. Uh, that game, you play as a zombie and you try to turn other people into zombies. Uh, I haven't played too much of it, but it's a zombie game, so I like my zombie games. So next up, I want to show you guys. Let's see if some of these games, like you know, if they don't have enough, um, if they don't have enough um, content for me to do one video. I'll definitely be throwing them on another one, so I'll probably do like a bunch of these together. Uh, this one right here. This one right here is Perseverance. It's really hard to see. The camera didn't focus. Fan Fantarock? I can't say the name of the, a lot of these games. But that one right there, there we go, focus camera. I believe that's a horror type game. I'm really into horror type games, so that's why I can see I have a lot of them on here. Um, Plague Road, I don't know too much about. That sounds kind of like a type of horror game. Um, where you saw Revelations 2. Shut Eye. Again, I can't tell you anything about Shut Eye. But I will definitely be looking more into it later on. Streets of Red. I do recommend uh, Streets of Red. This is a huge, like, um, nostalgic game where it's got a. It, it references a many, many games. I think even the title itself is referencing Streets of Rage. And that's why it's called Streets of Red. 
And then you got the intro that's kind of like Zombies Ate My Neighbors. And uh, the characters in the game, like there's a, there's a Link, there's a, a... It's just referencing so many video games. Uh, it's like a spoof horror type game. Highly recommend you guys check that one out. Uh, I think that's a one underrated game that no one really talks about. Vaccine, uh, that looks like an old school Resident Evil clone. So I would check that one out if you're into like the old school Resident Evil with uh, pre-rendered backgrounds and all that. Uh, yeah, another Zombie Defense HD. That is a, a nice tower defense game, zombie game. And it does have online. It's really, really fun. If, especially if you guys enjoy... If you enjoy um, tower defense type games, you'll like this one. Zombie Driver. We got Zombie Panic in Wonderland. DX, which I was starting to work on a video on that. Uh, I did review this way back in the day on the Wii. Uh, Zombie Panic Wonderland. You can actually search that up um, within my videos. Uh, this is just like a remastered version of it, I guess. Uh, it's got a zombie scrapper. I think it's like a top-down type game. I can't remember exactly what it's about. Uh, zombies ruined my day. Zombilly. And if I don't talk about them, it's because I don't really know a whole much. I don't know a lot about them. Uh, Stranger Things 3, the game. Lust. I think that's a horror type game. I'm not even going to attempt to say that. Garage is a twin stick shooter. Which I love. I love uh, twin, twin stick shooters. Frontline Z. It's like another type of zomb uh, uh, tower defense zombie game. Demon Pit is kind of like um, inspired by Doom, old school Doom. Earthfall, Earthfall is another underrated game. It's a lot like Left 4 Dead, except you have aliens. Dungeons and Aliens is basically Plants vs. Zombies. It's basically Plants vs. Zombies, except you have Dungeons and Aliens. Down to Hell. That sounds like something that's, uh, let's see, we've got Survivors, which I believe is free. I Don't quote me on that, or it's really cheap, one of the two. Um, Death Road to Canada, it's a lot like the old uh, Oregon Trail game, where you try to get to Canada during the zombie apocalypse, so um, you got Doom, Doom 2, Doom 3. We have, uh, let's see, Crimson Land, twin stick shooter with monsters, zombies, spiders, you name it. The, the game's really fun. Uh, it's got a leaderboard as well. Corridor, Corridor Z, I think it's like an endless runner type of game where you try to escape from a, from a high school, if I remember right, during the zombie apocalypse. Uh, Blood Breed, I don't remember what that's about, probably because I haven't played it yet. Bloody Zombies is another, like, platformer. It's kind of like, um, it's one of those beat-em-up type games, except you got zombies to beat up. Um, Brawl is like a Bomberman clone, but with a horror twist to it. Butcher, oh, Butcher, Butcher, that's like a... I remember this game being really bloody. It's like a platformer, I believe. And we have um, a cane. I, I haven't played that one yet. And we got hashtag kill all zombies, which I highly recommend. Highly, highly recommend. It's a twin stick shooter. Uh, you're fighting hordes of zombies in an in a arena. So, highly recommend that game. I do want to make a video on that game later on. So those are some of the games that I have that I recommend you guys check out. 
during this Halloween season in October. And I will be going more in depth with some of these games, whether it's in October or later on. So stay tuned for that. NFB out. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Life's a Nintendo game. Thank you.